Here we have a sat math question on functions. So there is a function over here, and in this function, a is a constant, and uh, it is given that f of 3 equals to 10, and we have to find the one which is equal to f of 5. Okay, here uh, they are not asked us to find uh, the value of f of 5 uh, as a numerical value. So they are asked us to find the value of, value of f of 5 in terms of the same function uh, with some other values of x, like 0, 3, negative 3, negative 5. Okay, it's a little tricky question, but uh, it's pretty simple. Okay, when I look at the given function carefully, uh, so there is x square over here on the right side, and I, I don't find uh, any other uh, x term on the right side. And also here, uh, x is having even exponent. So probably this function uh, is even. Okay, let me check whether the function is even or not. So for that, I have to replace, uh, let me write the given function as it is. Okay, so to check whether this function is even or not, I have to replace this x by negative x. Okay, so on the right side also, I have to replace uh, each x by negative x. Then I'll be getting negative x, so whole square negative 15. Then f of negative x equals to, so a times negative x, so whole square is uh, still x square because of the even exponent. So the negative will become positive x square negative 15. So when I plug in x is equal to negative x into the given function, uh, it is still equal to the original function uh, f of x, okay. So then we get f of negative x equals to, so actually a x square negative 15 uh, equals to f of x. So instead of that, we can write f of x. Okay, in a function, uh, when I plug in uh, x is equal to negative x, uh, if it results the same function, then the function is even. Here we have a question. If I plug in x is equal to negative x, uh, if it results negative f of x, then it is odd. Okay, so here in our case, when I plug in x is equal to negative x into the given function, it results a function itself. So our function is even function. Okay, since our function is even function, uh, even if I plug in uh, x is equal to negative 5, it must result f of 5. So from this point, it's very clear f of negative 5 and f of 5 are equal. So f of 5 equals to f of negative 5. So the correct answer choice for this question is option D.